Hello, BookTube. Well, the time has come at last for the, one of my favorite announcement videos to make in any BookTube year. I've mentioned before on this channel that a couple of uh, big and beloved BookTube events are barreling our way for the month of March. There's March of the Mammoth, where you're encouraged to pull those big 800-page monsters off your shelf and actually engage with them. And there's also March Mystery Madness, uh, which was created by... Uh, Elizabeth and Lizzie Fay loves books and Troy Towell and is a celebration of murder mysteries. And who, aside from the most sheltered and snowflakey literary snob, doesn't love a murder mystery <laughs> in all of their infinite variety? Uh, every year, March Mystery Madness celebrates uh, the genre of murder mysteries. And I love the genre of murder mysteries. As you can tell, even when March Mystery Madness is far from my mind, you can tell that I love them because there's hardly a book buying or acquiring haul that I ever do that doesn't have at least a few murder mysteries in it. I dearly love them. There's nothing that quite pays off like a good murder mystery. <laughs> and we are, I, Elizabeth, for good or ill, has once again invited me to be one of the co-hosts for March Mystery Madness. So we will be kicking things off on the 1st of March. And oh my, I'm sure actually well, there are a whole bunch of great co-hosts this year. Uh, and I'm sure that you subscribe to a lot of them. I'll leave a list of them down below. But I'm sure that because of that, you've seen these announcement videos in your feed. We're all making announcement videos today to sort of get you planning, get you all excited for March Mystery Madness. Uh, and some of the things that, that, that will be going on for this year's March Mystery Madness will, will appeal to you more than others will. That's certainly true for me. Elizabeth has once again pulled out all the stops for all kinds of uh, hashtags on social media and challenges and whatnot. But the theme, the sort of one organizing theme, if you want to use it, you don't have to. You can just read a murder mystery in the month of March, or more than one. You can gobble them down like candy the way I intend to do. Uh, but the theme here is two by two. And that is a nod in the direction of it being the year 2022. Uh, but the, the implementation for your reading would be, does your mystery have some sort of connection with two. Are there twins? Not exactly a rare occurrence in Murder Mysteries. Is the number two in the title? Is it the author's second book? All kinds of things like that that you that you can just explore around if you want to. Uh, and I, I usually am terrible at those kinds of organizing themes. I usually think it's just good enough to start reading in the genre. Uh, until Elizabeth pointed out, well, you know, that means the... Uh, new releases for 2022 are perfectly fair game and that's what I, that's what i do so in addition to everything i will read a lot of older mysteries in in march and i will try my hardest to find some sort of twin theme some sort of two theme in as many of them as i can like for instance i just read a period murder mystery an old one by nio marsh called death of a peer and there are twins in that book so so and there are also two killers in that book so so that would count. <laughs> but uh, you see how elastic it is. It's all meant to be fun. The real, the real uh, central point here is that you indulge yourself in reading Murder Mysteries. I intend to do a lot of that in March. Uh, but I will leave a list of the co-hosts down below. And I, I encourage you to join us. If you've, got, if you've got a yen to read more Murder Mysteries, if maybe you're putting some off, put them off a little longer and pile them all up in March. <laughs> the uh, the stereotypical thing that I tend to do at the beginning of March is to ponder whether or not you could you could knock off March of the Mammoth and March Mystery Madness at the same time. But only so many times you can read an instance of the finger post. The whole point of mysteries is that they tend to be short. It's very, very difficult to sustain the kind of internal pressure and suspense that you that really is an active element of a murder mystery. It's not only hard to do that, but it's a little counterproductive to do that over more than 200 or 300 pages. Uh, so uh, not only are there, as far as I know, not many mammoth murder mysteries, but I'm kind of glad of that fact. Uh, better to keep the two events separate this year, I would say. Uh, I want to know what you're planning on reading for March, and I will leave a list of everything down below for you so you can get as involved as you want in uh, all of the reading sprints and the, the, uh, the, the specific challenges and whatnot. There'll be all sorts, I would imagine, all sorts of shared videos, live streams, that sort of thing. I have a whole bunch of ideas along those lines that I'd be happy to do. But I wanted to join, uh, there's also, once again, a great graphic 
for March Mystery Madness that I have no idea how to manipulate. So, so it's just, just, I'm just gonna have to set out for my face this time around. And once again, also, uh, uh, Elizabeth and the other co-hosts have run the risk of allowing both me and Sarah at the Bookish Knitter to be co-hosts, even though we have a tendency to be a little on the talky side. <laughs> so there's an active risk that we won't let any of the other hosts get a whirly edgewise, but we'll be on our best behavior. So. Uh, that's what this video is, just an announcement video. I did, I've did. i done a few announcement videos for March of the Mammoths, and I wanted to do one for uh, March Mystery Madness, a great booktube event that's right around the corner. We are in mid-February, as unbelievable as that seems. We're approaching Valentine's Day. Uh, so get your murder mystery TBRs all lined up. Figure out what you want to do. I am right here for recommendations if you want them. Uh, and I will see you. We will be talking about all things mystery in March. So I will see you then. Thank you, Book 2.